earlier on, the CS Fred Matiangi launched the qualify the Kenya Qualifications Authority. Raquel, thank you very much for joining us. So what is this authority all about? The Kenya National Qualifications so thank you so much, Betty. Mm. Uh, the Kenya National Qualifications Authority has launched a framework that is set to look at the just streamlining the qualifications in the higher education system. This was a bill, it is provided by the law actually, and was signed into law in 2014 by President Uhuru Kenyatta. And it was just to set, uh, try to look and streamline the qualification standards and set it also to the global, uh, also just set it also to the global, uh, global uh, agenda or the global world at the moment. And so at this point, uh, this authority is set to just have an oversight role on the quality of standards accredited to provide education and training here in Kenya. And during the launch, uh, the CS Fred Matiangi, for the CS for Education Fred Matiangi explained that the education system in Kenya can only be described as one that is characterized by anarchy, given that uh, education uh, universities have been able to just set their own qualifications and entry requirements into such programs, into different programs that are being uh, given into, uh, that are being offered in, that, in those institutions. And therefore, just to help uh, solve out all this issue of fake programs, fake certificates, this, over, this authority is set to look on that. And right now I'm joined by Professor Bonventure Kerry, of the, who is the chairman of, the, of this authority, and is just going to explain to us further what this authority has been mandated to do. Thank you so much for joining us here at KTN News. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Professor Bonaventure Wanjala Kerry, currently the chairman of the Kenya National Qualifications Authority. Uh, this authority has been put in place to bring some order and sanity into the education and training sector in this country because right now we are operating at three major levels. We have the basic education level where we, have, uh, we offer certificates uh, by the Kenya National Exam Examinations Council. Then we have middle-level colleges under TVETA, authority who also offer certificates and diplomas and then at a higher level we have universities which offer degrees and postgraduate programs so we do have other regulators like the commission university yeah. uh, of university of education and you also do have uh, regu professional bodies like the engineers and the nurses so what how do we differentiate their mandate from the no. your work now, our mandate is the overall regulator or oversight over the quality assurance agencies. The universities have the Commission for University Education. Those are specifically for that subsector of the universities. And then TVETA is for technical and vocational ed education and training you know, institutions, purely for certificates and diplomas. Then in the lower sector for uh, basic education, we have now the, the Directorate of Quality Assurance and Standards in the Ministry of Education, which works with the, with the KICD and also works with the Kenya National Ex Examinations Council. Now, our role as an overall uh, you know, uh, regulator is to bring these bodies together to work in harmony, to ensure that they work, there's a seamless transition from one level to the other. The, the council has got representation from people from the uh, Q, the university council, uh, from TVETA, professional organizations, and it is also from the, the, the Federation of Kenya Employers, and COTU. These are members. So if there is any issue about the programs that or certificates that are being given, we, we have the mandate to call the team together, bring out together these people to harmonize on standards uh, and, and for these qualifications. There has been an issue of fake certificates whereby earlier on this year we had uh, the CS, Dr. Fred Matiangi, yeah. stating that this, uh, those who uh, might be having this, have been issued with these fake certificates, might risk having these certificates withdrawn. So where are we as the authority on this matter? So that's one of the jobs we are going to undertake 
so that we harmonize. If it is a diploma in Kenya or a degree, it is standard and everybody knows what it goes into it. We have knowledge, we have skills and attitudes and the competencies that a person should be able to, uh, to dis display after they have qualified. So they will be, we will also create a national database, digital, and we'll, on the website where we'll register all the qualifications so that if you are to go to an employer and you're seeking a job and you say you have a diploma in this particular discipline, then they can simply get on site and look whether actually you qualified from that institution. They will also know whether you, how, how long it took you and they will look at your transcripts, what you got in various areas, et cetera. So this will really cut out. These fake certificates from River Road and other places will, will come to a halt automatically. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You. Betty, that is what we do have here. And the CS for Education, Dr. Fred Matiangi, has given the authority six months. That is until January 2018 to be able to just clarify on what next or what are these requirements that are required by candidates who will seek higher education and training and just to get to see exactly what is the next step after one has been able to do a diploma or a higher diploma given that at this specific point as he explained is that there is no direct pathway or a clear clarification of